دعوني أناجي مولا جليلا إذا الليل عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ما بعد My beloved lovers of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam I am so glad to be here with you as a part of Sustained You to talk about the rich prophet the approach of prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam towards the whole universe was actually equal and same at the time when prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was receiving messages from the almighty the richest chiefs of mecca they came towards the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to ban or to stop him from preaching the messages of almighty they said oh muhammad we are here to speak with you because we respected you we obeyed you we called you al amin but now you are trying to make trouble in our society you are trying to make conflict between us you are considering your belief and your messages from almighty is the truth and the things which we practice it in our daily life is wrong it is actually not right you want to come back to our belief for coming back to our belief we are ready to provide you some special bonuses and you can see whether it is acceptable to you our first offer towards you is if you seek wealth we are ready to gather our wealth and provide you our wealth and make you the best and the richest person among us our second offer towards you if you seek honor we are ready to make you as our overlord and we will not take any decisions without your permission our offer towards you another offer if you seek kingship we are ready to accept you as our king and the last one if you cannot get rid of the demon which is following you we are ready to consult a physician and we are ready to send all our money until you are getting created well or cured the answer of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam towards their words it's amazing prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied that if you captured the sun and the moon from the sky and put it in my right and left hand respectively i am not ready to forsake my belief this is enough for us to understand the approach of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam towards the world even though he loved simplicity he considered his followers or companions equally whether he is a poor or rich and he taught the message or the theory of equality to his companions through his words al mu'minu lil mu'mini kal bunyan yashuddu ba'dhuhum ba'dha the believers are like a building and they are interconnected as like the bricks of a building is connected it is necessary for the strength and unity The approach of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam towards the rich is mentioned on the text Layal al-Akhbar One day Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his companions are in a meeting or in an assembly A rich person came towards the society or the companions of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam or to the assembly he sat on a place whose dresses are so wealthy and expensive after some times a poor person with dirty clothes came towards the assembly 
he find the seat next to the rich person he went there to see because prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam already taught them all muslims are brothers and sisters if they are coming to an assembly you want to you must to sit the place where you see without any considering social status so he said there while he is sitting the rich person moved a little bit to avoid the body touching while seeing this prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked are you afraid that this person's poverty attacks you or are you afraid that your wealth may fly towards him or are you afraid that you may become a dirty person by touching him what is the reason for you to move aside from him the rich person said oh rasulullah it is a wrong act from me i am regretting for that and i am ready to give my half wealth to that my brother rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked to that poor person are you ready to accept that he said no i don't want that money because i am afraid that if i accepted that money sometimes that type of approaches from me happens to my poor brothers i don't want to be like a person or i don't want to be like that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam prayed for them and they shake handed and hug good together what an approach of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam towards his rich and the poor in an another occasion when prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sitting in the masjid a gang of poor companions of rasulullah came towards rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam they said to prophet ya rasulullah our rich companions or brothers in islam they are earning a lot of virtues from the almighty through charity we doesn't have enough money so we doesn't have the opportunity to charity so we won a resolution prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam recommended them some special chantings of alkar before going to bed they accepted that and went back some days after they went back to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said to them ya rasulullah they are coming they are chanting what the they are chanting the words in which we are chanting you specially recommended for us so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam responded that zalika min indillah that is from the part of almighty we doesn't have any option so from these two incidents we can understand the approach of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam towards the rich and the poor all are equal in front of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so let me wind up my words by conveying a message to you that learn the approaches of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam towards the different dimensions of people and the creators and the whole universe and try to adopt the method which is adopted by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam for the better for the creation of a better world filled with equality and fraternity that's all from me wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillahirabbil alamin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh